here it is. This is my vertical setup. This is my Sony a7C um, with a Samyang 24mm cine lens and a Samsung Galaxy S10e right here with the monitor app. Now this can wirelessly connect to my Sony a7C or it can do it through USB-C. You can also do this with an iPad. I'll show you the footage and I'll show you the samples. Okay, so I'm at the gym where I recorded that content and I just wanna show you my kit. So what I use to put together a vertical shooting rig. Now, when I was trying to find a vertical shooting rig, I really wanted to go with an on-camera monitor that would have cost me 500 bucks. I wanted to get a gimbal so I can stabilize my footage. That was like 300 bucks. So altogether like almost 700, $800 to get steady footage with an external monitor. The external monitor suck because no built-in storage, no built-in memory, no built-in anything. And it costs you $500 for like a, a Ninja Atomos or um, the Hollyland one, the wireless one, that's the one I was eyeing. And I couldn't just justify that, especially when there's a better alternative. And if you've done some research, you might've heard of this app called Camera Monitor Plus or Monitor Plus. It's for Android and iPhones, and it pretty much allows you to use your iPhone or your iPad as an external monitor for your camera. And it gives you touch controls. If you pay for the pro version, you even get like tap to focus controls. I just had the regular version, so I can adjust my settings. So what I did is that I went with Falcom's accessories. I got their uh, handle, which is this right here. So um, just to give a review on this, the, the handle's nice. It's like a wood composite material. I don't know, uh, fits the hand nice and it has a quick release plates. Um, it came with this little plate, the one that I got. And I just used that on an old uh, tripod mount, uh, like phone clamp, and I just slid it on there. So boom, I have my monitor on my phone with the camera plus app, right? And then this just connects to the other accessory that I got, I'll put the total of these accessories. It's the Falcom plate. This one lets you rotate your camera from vertical to horizontal on the tripod. That's, that's what it does. But the cool thing about it is that it lets you have quick release plates right here for the F22 and F38 formats. You've got about like three different spots to connect. You have this one right here. You have this one right here, if you can see that. And then you have this one right here. So you have a lot of mounting options. So what I did is I took this grip, I attached it right here. And now I can literally go from shooting horizontal video to shooting vertical video in just a snap. And then you can connect this wirelessly. I've connected it wirelessly. I've connected it with the actual USB-C cable. There's a little bit of lag when you do it wirelessly. Um, but overall, instead of paying $500 for a monitor, another $300 for a gimbal, so like $800, you can get this for way cheaper for half the cost. Now, that being said, do you want to spend money on random metal pieces? I don't know, but you have to think about it. When you get the gimbal, you have to have a whole nother device that you're carrying with a case, you got to charge and all this other stuff. And with this, like, I mean, I'll show you the footage and how smooth it came out. I just locked this in place and I was steady. And if I needed even more stabilization, I can grab onto my grip. I have controls, I have the autofocus button right here. I have my monitor that I can look at. The monitor app in 2023 is honestly the best solution. Get a nice Android phone. It has to be something that came out like 2019 and up. Make sure it has OTG support. If you don't know any Anything, uh, about that you don't want to do the research just get the same one I did which is a Galaxy S10e but I wanted something that was pocketable the cool thing about it too is that if you get the USB-C cable attached you can actually charge the device the camera at the same time it's like pulling power so your camera lasts longer so it's like not only do you have a monitor uh, that has its internal battery and internal storage if you want to do some type of screen recording you could you're also powering the camera so it lets you last longer so if you're a mobile photographer somewhere you're on set and you don't want to constantly have to stop and change out batteries because that's a pain you can easily do that. And like I said, I showed you this with my Android phone, but you can do this with an iPad. I did like a massive setup where I had the iPad sitting on top of the camera, USB connected or wirelessly. Either one works with the Sony a7Z and all future cameras after that, because uh, it just looks super professional, but you can also turn it around and have the talent see themselves. There's a bunch of different uses for this. If you did that with the iPad, I used the top handle on there with the iPad, just so it's more stable instead of just this grip. I don't know if I would put an iPad here. You could put an iPad mini on here and the iPad mini would be perfect. It would fit just great. But in 2023, don't spend your money on 
a Ninja Atmos or a Holly Land, unless you're on set and you need specific things for clients. If you're on a budget, this, this is what you want to do.